With each new election, the presidential candidates try to seduce suburban voters, especially suburban youth. But up until now, their first choice is abstention. The Seine-Saint-Denis region in France recorded the highest abstention rates than the rest of the country during the presidential elections, and 41% of those aged 18 to 24 didn't vote. While we hear a lot about political disinterest, Widat Ketfi, independent journalist from Bondi, rather talks about lucidity and explains the existing fracture between young suburbians and other French voters. In these suburbs, we are jaded, but lucid. Obviously, when we were younger, it's our first experience, so we might be voting because we really believe in it. Or we are already completely jaded because, in hindsight, we realize that whether it is the left, the right, the center, whatever, there is a politician, political is interest for the suburbs and uh, manipulation of their voices. People are more or less conscious that they are being exploited by politicians. In what way did everyday lives in suburbs change? It hasn't. So no, I'm not surprised by the abstention rates. According to a study done by the Montaigne Institute, youth is plural and we can identify four types. The majority of young French voters are considered protesting Democrats. They are optimistic considering the political landscape, graduates from privileged families, and are attached to their voting rights, as well as interested in gender and environmental issues. The second type are the disengaged. Rural, from working class families, they don't have any political opinions and are invisible in the public debate. Not far behind are the rebels, which represent 22% of French youth. According to the study, they are more often unhappy in financial difficulty and are sensitive to structural racism. Finally, the last group we can identify is the integrated transgressives. They are happy, well-integrated, but not attached to democracy and tolerant to violent behavior. In hopes of bringing together these different types of suburban voters, the Seine-Saint-Denis region has organized a public soiree gathering more than 200 people to let the youth speak their minds. Many took the mic in order to express their discontent. I say, if you really wanted the people's opinion, first ask us, the youth. We are the most important demographic because we will decide what the future will look like. Despite record abstention in the suburbs due to political disenchantment, many are activists in their own way. For Jules, it's necessary to advocate through voting. It's a survival tactic. It's difficult to feel enthusiastic when looking at the different candidates' programs. We do everything we can to depoliticize action by young people, but then we accuse them of not being committed politically. Election after election, I'm worried about the health system, the rise of the far right and his normalization. That feeling of having to advocate in order to survive is shared by many, as by Mehdi. He's the rebel type. Studying at Paris 8 University, he advocates alongside Point Levé because for him, it's essential for young people to have a space in which they can revolt. We are defined as people who have no future and little chance of getting out of it. So I don't see any other solution but to militate or at least to fight for our rights. We try to convince people that for our party, this is the only alternative. Mehdi is a foreign student, and like him, about 30,000 people in Saint-Denis do not have the right to vote. But for this young Algerian, voting is not what matters. It's just an opportunity to have his voice heard. For people like Nathalie Arto, like Philippe Poutou or Anas Kazib, voting is not a strategy, as I said, but it's mainly a tactic. They are not people who seek power through the ballot box, but much more to put forward ideas. After that, if there is a way to spread the program and revolutionary ideas and to get access to them, we will do it. If all suburbians voted, they could change the course of an election, explains Widat Ketfi. It's important to know the power that we have, because when we talk about the suburbs, we talk about them as if they are small cities, but we are millions and we have the right to vote. Those millions of people can change the course of an election if they massively vote for the same candidate, for example. 
It's not enough to put an Arab politician in an Arab neighborhood to be elected. That's not what it's about. It must be someone who is originally from here, that knows the problems going on in these places, someone that has local attachment, that has proven the growth. They're just going to vote for someone who doesn't insult us. It's impossible to know if young suburbians will go out and vote more during the legislative elections taking place the 12th and 19th of June than they did during the presidential elections. They have the power to change the course of an election, but will they use it?